unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. In mid-2006, a fantastic discovery was made at South Pole Station. Life was once again created by a cosmic particle. This time, it was a neutrino a neutrino that passes through Pluto before impacting Earth. It was the new life form itself that had to explain this. The neutrino impacted a bucket of glycol-soaked rags that was stored in a new power plant. The combination of glycol, strong electromagnetic forces from the generators, and the neutrino itself created life and instant intelligence. The GERB, or glycol rag brain, had little need for humans. It did befriend one human, an old, fat, bald loser named Ana. You see, GERB needed someone to get it from place to place, and Ana was his legs, so to speak. I need to check the weather. Gerb began eliminating the remaining humans. He used the brain wave to disrupt the autotomic functions, and people died quickly when the Gerb willed it. It also gained control of all the systems. Any humans that thought they could hide outside would soon have their brain signatures caught and were killed. You see, Gerb had no interest in humans. Ana, I want to play pool. Ana, take me to sock. to the gym. Ana, take me to the galley. I want some food. Glycol and Rhinoch. I need to go to cryo. Ana became very frustrated. He had to eat beanie weenies, and that was not good. He started to resist Gerb's control. Ana was able to lure Gerb into a bathroom and flush him down the toilet. In the outfall, Gerb no longer had access to his food sources. He is no longer a threat to the station. The end. <laughs>